guys this is Ron with my cool videos 1000 at YouTube uh, today I want to show how to um, uh, root your Galaxy Note 2 and the simplest way that I found based on trying different things uh, this is uh, five minutes method and basically you need to download one file from the web and I'll put the address uh, on my page down below uh, basically this file over here that is I call the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 root and uh, you first you need to download it and then you come here I'm using the WinZip Pro I'm gonna do a one click on zip basically creates a folder and the folder has these three files over here okay one is the uh, the tar file the Odin that we're gonna need and then this other one but now we need to get into the um, Galaxy Note 2, we need to put in the download mode, which is basically, I took out the back to make it easier, but I probably need my two hands, so I'm going to go ahead and put this on the stand over here, um, and uh, i got to find a way to use my two hands. Well, if you can see this... Um, You can see this. I'm gonna hold the the power button, oh, the home button. Oh, hold on, I have to turn off. First, you have to turn off the phone. Once it's power off completely, the lights are off, I vibrated, and now it's gone. Okay, now we're gonna put on the download mode, which basically you hold down the volume down. And then you hold down the home key and the power at the same time. So all three has to be up. Now you came to this screen and within this screen now you're free to press the volume up button and that puts you on this download mode. It's downloading. Okay, so now that's there we can <coughs> leave this here and I am going to go into the windows up here I'm using Windows 8 and I'm gonna execute the Odin program allow that so disregard it this is for the Epic but this works with any Android phone that and I'm gonna basically connect my Galaxy Note with the cable and now look what happens I now have a yellow um, little sign here that saying that I am connected to it via the USB port and remember this you're supposed to have already the Samsung drivers the USB drivers already installed I basically leave everything here as it is it's only this auto reboot here as a button that's checked and now we're gonna select the PDA we're gonna go straight into that particular folder where it was um, um, what I had downloaded those files and that was under my my documents downloads and here I'm gonna select oh, this is not it the different downloads documents my downloads my downloads where is it just a second it's not going well okay now that I am on this mode here of selecting I clicked on the PDA and open up the window I'm gonna locate where I actually did the files 
and this is the folder and this is the only file that w or cwm6 root I'm going to say open now that I have that here and this should be all you need now I'm going to click start and look what's going to happen here to the phone it's going to go in here, here start to get recovery, the phone is going to reboot and the Galaxy Note 2 is going to be rooted when it finished so that went really fast and um, this method is the fastest one I could find um, so this is a new Galaxy Note 2 and now it's going through the settings and is installing the super user files and uncompressing it and it's rebooting and that's pretty much all it needs and here it just says pass that's the final result everything went fine um, let's see. the phone is rebooting mm, let's see how it finished just for this rebooting this is my new uh, Lenovo Twist it's pretty cool it's a tablet and also a phone I mean a tablet and also an uh, ultrabook you can just turn it around and and get uh, a tablet function because it's a touch screen so you can move stuff and you can press in the windows and all that Okay, so the phone is back, and I'm gonna unlock this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna download something that's a rooted app, and see, type root just to confirm that we do have. root on the phone and I have a few things that I bought in the past <clears throat> root explorer and that's a file explorer that has the root privilege I want to install it and we gotta just check to make sure this is going through By the way, I love this my cover. I don't know if you guys have cases, but this case is pretty cool. It's a two-piece, and it's from Sado, and it just slides in and out of here in the back, and it has the kickstand that uh, you just put it here, and your phone stays. But it's very easy to get in and out, especially because I like to replace batteries or change change out. Um, my SD card and stuff. The internet is very slow here. Okay, now it's starting to download. This is only to test, otherwise the the phone is already rooted, but we want to make sure that's rooted all right. Okay, let's open and let's see. Here we go. Super user request. So if you know that there is this now we are all the way to the root of the phone and that's how we know that the phone is rooted and I should have the app here of a super user somewhere in the last it should be here the super user somewhere installed super user here we go and the root explorer is here so I hope you guys like it um, I understand that uh, I heard that if you do install this, you won't be able to do the upgrades from AT&T or from the device. Like if you go here about device software update, it will say that uh, checking for software. And right now I have the latest and the greatest, so it shouldn't have any problems. But I don't know if that's the true. But if you need to get, if you heard that there's a new upgrade. Um, you need to put back to the restore to, to the stock 
uh, from AT&T's stock ROM and then do the upgrade then and then reroute it again but uh, there's a file you can download it and you can get your own uh, stock ROM and that's how I did it if I want to ever go back to the original one and that's it enjoy it and I hope you like it talk to you soon bye bye